There was also a pretty good undercard. Glenn Kelly, who is setting himself for a showdown with the brilliant Roy Jones later this year, kept himself active with another impressive win. He, he, he trains very hard, Glenn, you know, um, he trains second to none, and you know, he always looks super fit, and he always is, and, you know, um, he just wants to get Roy Jones and uh, have a crack at, at the man himself, you know, get in the ring and have a shot at the world title. And you can bet uh, this telecast tonight will be beam to the US, and Kelly has already unleashed on Dakua. Just showing way too much speed already. He's Glenn Kelly. He's fighting more aggressive now. He's um, joined Team Finnick, you know, and he's always been a, a very good boxer and, and used to box, you know, round after round. But now, look at him, he's fighting the aggression now and he's, he's got the full package. A couple of rounds wouldn't hurt Glenn Kelly at this point. No, 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 oh, no, no. Good, oh, left hand spun his opponent around. Oh, do -si go your partner. That's what they call a haymaker of the biggest kind. Yeah, beautiful right hand. Stop. Out of the ring for the second time goes the Gyasi Dakua from Fiji. Well, he took that shot well. And he was still showing defense on the ropes. He was still, you know, bobbing and weaving away from those shots. Perhaps a little relaxed there. An opening presented itself and Kelly didn't take it. I'd like to see Glenn lead up with the right hand. Maybe double it up. Yeah. Lead up with it. Come back with the left hook. Yeah, shoot that right hand nice. There it is. There's Bang. the right hand I was talking about. Yeah, shoot that right hand. Uh, Good night. Four. Sweet dreams. Five. It is over. Yeah, perfect right hand. Uh, I should have just said as it, as it happened. Glenn Kelly victorious. Here at Bankstown. And a standing ovation for the man they call Kunga. And another impressive win there too, Glenn Kelly. And I guess at this stage he's looking ahead to Roy Jones. He, all, he looked very aggressive in that fight, something that perhaps earlier in his career we didn't see. He was lacking that early in his career since he moved over to Team Fennec. Um, as you can see, he is much more aggressive. And his blitz of hand speed, like, um, that's why he's, you know, he's in good stead when he, when he faces Roy Jones because he's got patience. He has unbelievable hand speed like, like Roy Jones has and that's the thing that Roy Jones has over many of his opponents, just the difference in hand speed. Yeah, I wanted to ask you, you obviously train with Glenn quite a bit, does he talk about the fight with Roy Jones oh, at he's all? Keen. He's keen, he's like, um, that's, that's, yeah, he does talk about it quite a lot and he's really, really eager and looking forward to it because he, you know, he knows that's, when you beat Roy Jones you're on top of the whole boxing world and he's, he's eager and he's keen and, and he's, he's just dreaming about it. What, what do you think the game plan would be against Roy Jones? Would it be to try and work his way into the fight or come out and try and shock him? Because you look at Glenn, he is a fair income light heavyweight, whereas a lot of people seem to think that perhaps Roy Jones is more like a super middleweight. Yeah, I think um, Glenn is a big light heavyweight. He's bigger than Roy Jones from what I've heard. Um, with the game plan, I don't know, that's something between Jeff and Glenn. 